Hello and welcome back to Creatively Torn, a channel where I mostly talk about books and sometimes don't. I have yet another monthly unhinged wrap-up video for you today. I'm going to be wrapping up what I read in July and looking forward to what I plan to read in August. Though lately my plans have not really worked out as well as I have would have liked. But regardless, I'm going to go into uh, them anyways. So July was actually a pretty solid month for me. I got through a good number of books. Um, I didn't hate all of them, uh, just a couple of them. So I count that as a win. Uh, but that being said, let's get let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, starting with what I did finish first, which was Boy's Life, which I did talk about in last month's wrap up. So I'm not gonna talk about it again. Uh, it's not gonna qualify for book of the month because I most. I read most of it in uh, June, so that's kind of one of those weird limbo books, uh, but it was good. Uh, the first one that I finished after that uh, was Valor by John Gwynn. This would be the third book in the Faithful and the Fallen series. Uh, no, the second book. Yeah, second book in the Faithful and the Fallen series, uh, which I did like more than the first. I think it is a lot more engaging. A little more fast-paced, although I do still have a lot of issues with it in terms of the writing style and the dialogue and the structure and all of the different point of views and lots of other things. But uh, anyways, it was okay. I liked it more than the first a little bit. I read it a lot quicker as well. Part of that was due to me being on a schedule. Uh, for a buddy read with that one, so I had a number of chapters to get through every night. Uh, but aside from that, it was a much more engaging book anyways, so if I would not have been following that, I may have read it quickly. Maybe not, I don't know. Probably not, to be honest. It wasn't that good. Uh, so I ended up giving this book a 3.75 rating out of 5. Uh, there's going to be quite a few 0.75s in the ratings for this month. It's just been been a weird month, I, I guess. Uh, the next book that I finished after that was American Psycho by Brett Easton Ellis. This is the book that the movie is based on. Uh, and one that I've been wanting to read for a while now, and it was quite good. A uh, really fun book. Probably one of my favorites of the year so far. So if you're unaware, American Psycho follows a uh, executive person guy named Patrick Bateman who is quite unwell, uh, either in Justice Head or in uh, terms of being a murderer. Uh, so American Psycho is a fun book, very, very graphic book and very disturbing book. But quite a fun read too. It's uh, got a lot of a lot of entertaining quotes in it. Uh, one that I think I'm probably reread at some point. So I ended up giving that one a four out of five. I did like it quite a lot, but I didn't think it was a perfect book. Uh, so it's not gonna get the perfect five rating for me this time. Although I might give it a higher rating upon a reread. Next up was Dark Age by Pierce Brown, the fifth book in the Red Rising series. I just did a video about this book and the one previous to it, uh, so go ahead and check that out for my full thoughts. But needless to say, it was good. I quite liked it. Uh, I rated it either a four and a half or five out of five, whichever one I did. I don't remember, to be honest. But it's good. It's very good. So, whichever one fits. Next up, I read a book called Lord of Dark Places by Hal Bennett. This is a... What is this book? I don't know. Uh, a book from the 70s. A uh, very dark book. Um, has a lot to say about like racism and... Uh, religion and things like that. And sex. I imagine. I don't know. It was a it was a it was a different book. I'll just say that. One not for the faint of heart. It's a very raw book, so uh, if you're into disturbing 
sexual content, um, and also being offended in just about any way possible, uh, I would encourage you to check this book out. It's not bad. I didn't think it was a great book. Uh, I had to struggle to get through it, to be honest, but it was okay. Uh, one that I think is worth a read if you are at all remotely interested in it. And next is going to be a very special book because if there's a book of the month, there's got to be an anti-book of the month. And for July, my anti-book of the month is Hog by Samuel Delaney. This is a f insane book, uh, very disgusting, very pointless, very disturbing book. Uh, what's it about? It's about... I can't tell you what it's about, really. Uh, don't read it. It's not worth it. It's uh, highly graphic. Um, and there was not much of a plot or much of anything to redeem this book, I felt. It was just a very difficult book to get through. Um, so one I do not recommend. I gave this one like a 1.75 rating. I couldn't quite give it a 1 because I have never, I've never given a book a 1 quite yet. So. I think a 1.75 is a good compromise. Uh, but yeah, don't read that book. Even if you're into extreme horror, it's uh, it's just not a fun read. Uh, but anyways, uh, the last book of the month that I read was A Farewell to Arms by Ernest Hemingway. Uh, this will be my second Hemingway book after The Old Man and the Sea, which that one was quite a, a different book than his usual ones, I think. So this is really a new experience for me. And it's one that I'm quite unsure about. I thought the book was okay. It was easy to get through. I didn't have a problem reading it. I never really disliked reading it. And it was a quick read. Um, I liked some of the quotes in there. And I liked most that I like. I like the general premise. I don't know. I didn't really care for any of the characters. Uh, there was not much of a plot. And there was not much in way of anything else. Uh, it was just a whole lot of things happening to the characters. And then the thing ends. And uh, there's not a lot uh, for me to grab onto for that one. So I'm quite unsure how much I feel about it. I know there are some issues with the book uh, in terms of the writing style and things like that. Uh, I'm not sure how much I want to nitpick with that stuff or not. Uh, but as for the overall feeling of the book, I'm still quite mixed on it. Uh, so right now I'm going to give it a rating of 3.75 or 3.5. Whatever, I don't know. These don't make any sense anyways. It was an okay book. Uh, if you're into war stories, you might like it. Although, I don't know. I have not read a whole lot of those, so I don't know how typical um, this would be of other war stories or whatever. It was an okay book. I'm uh, hoping to get more Hemingway done soon. So with all those out of the way, it's time for Sega to mess up my camera. Yeah. So it's time for me to pick a book of the month. And for that, I'm going to go with Dark Age by Pierce Brown. It was a toss-up between that and American Psycho. But Dark Age was much longer and a much more complete book. Uh, it had a whole gamut of things in it. From death and sadness to uh, action to other stuff too. I don't know. Uh, it's really hard to beat though. It was a really good book. And I'm hoping it is topped by the next book that I'll be hopefully reading soon. Uh, but anyways, move into the couple of books that I am still working on. And those would be Don Quixote, uh, which I started in the beginning of July, but I've barely made any progress on. Uh, I may finish this by the end of August, or maybe not. I'm really 
in no hurry to do so. Um, it's an okay book so far, but it's not wowing me. And I've heard it is a quite a slow read, so I'm not going to uh, go too fast with it. Either way, uh, the other book that I'm working on currently is The Prophet of Edan by Philip Chase, the second book in the Edan trilogy. Started this a week or so ago. I also have not made much progress on this one. I guess I haven't been in the mood for it, I guess. Uh, so much more to come on that uh, later. Uh, but let's dive into the other books I plan to start in uh, August. Uh, first up, it's going to be an ebook. This will be Dead Inside by Chandler Morrison. This is a, I believe, a splatterpunk book. Uh, very extreme horror stuff. That so, uh, should be fun. Uh, looking forward to getting to that. Uh, some probably sometime this week. Uh, I will so I uh, I also will be reading Lightbringer at some point. I don't know when, uh, but should be this month at some point. Uh, another one I will be reading at some point, but I'm not sure when is going to be the third book. Yes, the third book in Faithful and the Fallen, which is Ruin, I think. Um, this one is quite a bit longer than the first two, I believe. So hopefully it is as good as people say. I think a lot of people say this is one of the best ones in the series. So let's hope that's right. Um, so I'll be getting you that at some point. Uh, then I also do want to add in one longer book. That will be The Stand by Stephen King, which I was hoping to get to in July, but I never did. But that's okay because I uh, have a few things that I was planning to get to in the next couple of months that I will be putting off, so this would be a good place for it. As long as I can find a time to fit that in. And then lastly, no not lastly, and then finally I have two more. These will be shorter ones. Uh, two shorter classics. One is Cannery Row by John Steinbeck, which I believe is just a series of short stories about a uh, place in California. Uh, we'll see. And then the next one is Persuasion by Jane Austen, which I'm pretty sure is a romance, but that's really all I know about it. Uh, but I'm looking forward to getting into that. I've not read anything from Jane Austen before or really a whole lot of romance as it is, so that should be an interesting read. But anyways, that is all my plans for July, not July, August. This video was about as unhinged as usual, so uh, I hope you tolerated it. But anyways, that's all I have today, so thank you for watching and